My name is Winky, aka the Dragon Queen from the Dragon Queen's Lair, and here I'm here with Tess from Of a Cloud Up Bookie. And we are at BookNet Fest, so we decided we we're going to do the A to Z book tag. So I think we're each going to draw five. Yeah, we're each going to draw five letters, and then I pulled up a survey that Nikki sent me on Discord. So each letter means a different thing with books. All right, so you want to go first? Yes. Um, and I'll read the question. Right. It is E. E-reader or physical book? I have to say physical books because, like, for some reason, when I'm reading an e-book, it takes me so much longer to read an e-book than a physical book. It's actually really fair. I, I, I probably would pick physical book too, but for a different reason. E-books um, give me headaches, but I would always go audiobook over physical. Like, I well, love audiobooks books. are so amazing. That wasn't really an option, so I was cheating, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, um, P. Can't read my own letters. P is preferred place to read. <laughs> um, my couch. Yeah, I actually, um, when my brother moved out last summer, we turned his bedroom into like a library, so I have like this nice, nice. like one and a half seat couch that I sit on and. If I don't fall asleep, I love reading on it. That would be amazing. I cannot sleep in, or cannot read in bed. Nope. I, I always will, fall asleep. I will fall asleep straight up. I always fall asleep. Yes. L. Longest book you've read? Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, the longest book I finished was, I think, Outlander. But the longest book I've read was 1Q84 when I DNF'd it. About yeah. 60%. Also, like, Outlander's, like, the very close second. I think Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix is, like, four or five pages longer. If it's longer, then it's Harry Potter, but... Yeah. Um, 1Q8... I have, like, the mass market one, so it's, like, 850 pages. Like, it's right just under the... 1Q84 is, like, 1,100. Oh, wow. I don't know if it counts because it's a trilogy in one book, but it's in one book. I mean, it's one book, so I think it counts. I hated it so much, guys. You should watch that video of me ranting about that. Um, oh. Oh, it is one book you have read multiple times. The Dresden Files. It's not one book, it's a series, but I've read slash listened to every single 15, all 15 of the books four or five times. Oh, wow, yeah. Mine would actually be um, Hunger Games. I've read that one twice. In Vampire Academy. I'm actually doing, I was trying to do a reread on Instagram, but I just fell into a reading slump and just stopped. <laughs> so, we'll be next year. Are you your turn? Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna put this one. J. Just finished. What book did you uh, just finish? It, was, it wasn't like just finished, but the most recent book I finished was Enid, and that was back in like June. I literally just finished. Um, no Good Dragon Goes Unpunished by Rachel Aaron, the third Heartstrikers book. It's so good. It is so good. <laughs> I've been wanting to get, like, read more dragon books. I have a couple at home, but I haven't read them yet. I highly recommend the Heartstrikers series. It's really good, and it's a very interesting take because of the main character is a nice dragon when everybody else is, like, vindictive and normally Ooh. bad. And it's, like, an abnormality, and he has to fight in tooth and claw without actually fighting because he's a pacifist, basically. <laughs> Q. Q. Quote that inspires you or gives you all the feels from a book you've read. I suck at quotes so hard. Uh, the only quote I actually remember, and it's not even like, it gives me emotions in a sense of like, it brings up the nerd in me, but Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy the answer is 42. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> I will say, like, I don't know even why. I, like, I watched that years ago, but still to this day, 42 is my go-to number. It's like, oh, I did it, like, 42 times, guys. And it, it's, like, twice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm also really bad with quotes. So, like, I only have a couple that really stick out. And I think the one that stick out the most is, of course, everyone knows it from The Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. I say that more often than I should. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's like a go-to every time someone's doing something, I was like, may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> no reason. Just, nope. Just guys. Like this. Oh. Yes. Okay, big one. Hey. And we are accompanied by 
thunder because we are in Florida and it rains every single day of the summer. Author you've read the most books from? Um, I was thinking about this a little bit ago. It's actually a tie with Lemony Snicket and Rochelle Mead. I've both read 12 books of, from them. Uh, Jim Butcher. He's nice. the author of The Dresden Files and Codex Alora and now Aeronauts Win Last. But I've read every single book he's written. And he's written a lot of books. So. A lot of books. <laughs> Is that because... Like, I do really enjoy his work also, but it's mostly, like, he has a lot of books. A close second would be Patricia Briggs. She's really good. I haven't read either one of them, but I hope to. Patricia Briggs is a shapeshifter writer. Ooh, my mom likes that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. She's probably already read them. All right, S. Yes. Okay, series you started and need to finish that all the books are out in the series. I don't know if all the books are out, but Patricia Briggs, for sure, I need to finish the series. Um, Lord of the Rings? I haven't finished Lord of the Rings. I haven't even started Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I've, like, picked it up, but I keep putting it down and getting distracted. Um, I guess also the Foundation Trilogy by Isaiah Gasmoth. I started book one, and then I never finished it. And... The Finishing School series by Gail Callinger. Character. Like, I, I have a lot of series I need to finish, <laughs> but those are the three I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, I would say, like, the big one for me... Uh, let me see. Outlander's not, Outlander's not done. I just had it. Uh, the Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiebelter. I read the first book, and I'm, like, partially through the second one, but I put it down because I'm like, I don't feel like reading this today, so I just put it on back on my Yeah, shelf. I need to finish that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh... Also, I need to finish um, Daughter of Smart Smoke and Bones. Oh, I had not started that one, but I want to. But, so, fun fact, just going to put this out there. Uh, Happy Booktuber and I and a couple of other people are doing a read-along for the Daughter of Smoke and Bones starting in October. Oh, yes. So, so I, October, I November, December, yes. we're reading one book a month, and we're doing a live show. You can catch my video announcement for that, though. Yes. All right, this is the last, the one, last one, or the last round. X. Um, X marks the spot. Start at the top left of your shelf and pick the 27th book. We're at a hotel. Yeah, my bookshelves are an hour and a half away. <laughs> so let's pick a different one. Okay, let's pick a different letter. We should have read these first. Maybe, um, K. <laughs> Kinds of books you won't read. I would have to say, honestly, erotica, because that does, does not trigger my fancy at all. So anything like erotic, like Fifty Shades kind of stuff, like X-rated stuff, none of them. Um, mine is romance, but I agree with Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't mind erotica books, personally, if you're in the mood for them, like, that's it's okay. Fifty Shades of Grey is problematic, though, for way too many yeah, reasons. Yeah, I've, I've heard, like, the whole Twilight fanfiction thing is the reason that I'm, like, no, like I, I probably went through a stage a couple years ago where I'm like, maybe I want to read it, but then my mom read it, and usually with like that kind of story, my mom and I will agree on it, and my mom was like, you don't want to read this, and I was like, yeah, that's also totally a fan fiction, like, yeah. uh, that's, that could go, that could be either really good or really crappy. Yeah, mine's romance, I just, romance can be in a story, but doesn't really have to be for me, like, it's kind of yeah. hit or miss, I like books that have less romance. I'm okay if it trickles in every once in a while, but a book that's only focused on romance, not really my jazz. Last one, C. Currently reading. I am currently reading two books. Um, I'm listening to one on audiobook, and that is uh, Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Um, I'm 23% in, I was supposed to read it for the event, but I didn't get through it. But it was really, it's really good so far. And the physical book I'm reading is Assassin's Game. I don't remember who the author is off the top of my head. I'm not really thoroughly enjoying it though right now. It might be an epic. Yeah, right now um, I got the ebook for Spinning Silver. I was going to try to read it before Booknet Fest, but it was on hold from my library because I, I have it on Overdrive and it took like a month and a half. Like, yeah, basically a month and a half to get. I'm listening to it on audio. Yeah. It didn't have the audio, like, they only had the ebook for my library, so I was like, okay, that's fine. But then I've also got the audiobook. I'm listening to the audiobook for Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Okay. I kind of stopped about two-thirds of the way through, and now I'm like, 
I don't want to go on because I know I'm going to bawl my eyes out and just be completely destroyed by this book. So I've just been sitting at chapter 16 for like um, like two months. Do it. I need to. I'm like, I need to push through. I mean, I haven't read the series, but do it. I need to, yeah. And the physical book I read actually read a little bit yesterday, it's called The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. Hmm. Sounds like something on my island. It's about witches and this little island in Washington State, and it's really good so far. I'm on like page 70, so. <laughs> well, that is the A to Z book challenge. Please go check out our video on her channel as well. We're going to do the rest of these letters on there. Uh, maybe, maybe toss some things back in there. Uh, though, no, we already answered them all, so I just want to see them. Yeah, we'll just do the other ones that we have, don't have on my channel. My channel, again, is hufflecloud.bookie, which is also my Instagram. So. Like it if you like it, subscribe if you want to, and this is the Dragon Queen signing off.